Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Nightwing, issue number 56. Wow, okay. Just, let's just do this, all right? Let's 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 just do this, man. Hit me, hit me, hit me harder. Night Terrors, part seven, Heroic Tendencies. Scott Liddell did the plot. Fabian Iceza did the script. David uh, Gianfelice on art. Nick Filardi on colors. And uh, Andwald Design on letters. Chris Mooneyham and Nick Filardi did the cover, and Otto Schmidt did the variant cover. And the Nightwing concept was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. So we have the Ford Nightwings, and they're fighting Scarecrow, and all of his baddies who are screaming, I'm not afraid! And they're running out, and that's actually cool. I'm, I'm actually digging that. Like, I that's, that's, that's a concept I can really get behind. And then the one girl gets hit by a, a steel garbage can. And also her brother completely, like, she gets hit and it's like the, the mouthpiece protecting her from the fear gas doesn't even come out of her mouth. I'm just, anybody ever been hit and you're like, Ugh! you know, and like, you know, uh, I'm, no, she's just biting out with her teeth. I didn't see any little rubber band being held again. There was nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? She's just holding with her teeth and she, she got hit by the still garbage can. She's just like, eh, and she moves along. Nothing. It's nothing. You know, so she's still up. I didn't even see a bruise on her face. I'm just saying. More than that, how do I know this didn't hurt that damn bad? Well, a lot of you guys know I'm a wrestling fan, right? And like most of us young, impressionable, stupid AF uh, wrestling fans, yeah, we um, we used to beat each other up with stuff. <laughs> Steel chairs, not so much, but... Um, yeah, we, we we had access to steel garbage cans. Um, they were all over the place back in... <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, and we, we, we'd take them and we'd beat the crap out of each other with them. Look, man, sometimes they can hurt, but for the most part, nah. <laughs> you're you're good. You're good. Um, maybe I'm just coming across the wrong steel. Like, now I'm thinking of the ones today. Yeah, they're much stronger back then. Nah, you're fine. You're good. But, um... Either way, maybe that's my problem. Been hit by too many. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick still, guys. I'm still really sick. All right, a whole month with this flu. I'm freaking dying here. Um, anyway, the point is that um, yeah, she she goes down. She's just like <laughs> whatever. Sound like a bleeding goat. And um, her brother jumps up. What? How dare you? <laughs> he's gonna go. He's gonna knock out the not even the one who who who, who hurt her with the garbage can. He's gonna go after the scarecrow himself. And he gets shot by the police around him. Bow, 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 bow. Yo, they shot this sucker 11 times. I'm just saying, they shot this sucker 11 times. Like, count it. You know what I'm saying? Seven on one and four on the next panel. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Laying there. Blood starts coming out of him. Like, this dude is just jacked royally. Laying there. Ugh. And, uh, no, he's okay. He was wearing a, uh, a vest. Oh, man, most people ain't popped, like, uh, you know, 11 times and, 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 like, punctured and stuff like that. Nah, son, <laughs> this dude ain't going to be okay. They say he's going to be okay. All right, superhero world. Apparently, it wasn't kryptonite bullets, so he's fine. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, Nightwing's all like, you know, oh, no. By Nightwing, I mean Rick Grayson. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's, me, it's my fault. Did you pull the trigger? Because I saw those two cops pulling the trigger. I see you pull the trigger. Well, he goes and he, like, dresses up and he puts, he smears some, like, I don't know, engine grease on his freaking eyes. I think somebody's been watching a little bit too much Arrow on the CW because, brah, nah. <laughs> That's, ain't going to disguise nobody, man. The one cop already saw him dead to rights, looking like he does. Anybody who, who forgets Nightwing, and how can you miss Nightwing's butt? I'm just saying it's like the most famous butt in the in the entire comic book universe. Everybody knows Nightwing has a very distinguishable butt. I don't know what that is. I'm just saying what I've read. Nightwing has a distinguishable butt that in a crowded room, somebody could recognize Nightwing by his butt. The butt was there. He didn't put a towel over it or something like that. He just, he walked out there, butt and, and, and face with a little car oil across his eyes. He's just like, what's up? I'm Nightwing. And of course he goes for a rope. That same cop who saw Nightwing with the, the, the haircut, I'm sure the butt was there. I don't think he was looking at the butt. Not everybody's looking at the freaking butt, all right? But <laughs> he, um, I'm sick. I'm sick. Just, dude, cough medicine for hours. So, um, <clears throat> he, um, he takes a rope 
and I guess he puts like something out. I think he put like his phone or his beeper on the end of it or something. I don't know what the hell he put on the end of it. He put something on the end of it. He got like a little nunchuck. He's like, ah. He goes running in, spinning the rope. The dude just had a rope. He went after the rope when all of a sudden the other cop, who's like the main night wing, goes up and he's like, hey, stop right there, citizen. I'm going to handcuff you to this car. And it's like, what? And then like he saves his life and stuff like that. It's like he went for the rope and a little tired green. Like he, he got to know this guy. He's got to know this guy. Look, look, look. I can barely believe, barely believe the whole Superman with the glasses thing, okay? But I ain't going to believe a little bit of Carl. <laughs> He's just like, eh, eh, you don't know me anymore. <laughs> oh, now. Come on now. So, yeah, just it's a bit much. But he shows up and they both go in. And, and like, this looks like something out of Dragon Ball Z with freaking uh, Goku and and uh, Krillin, like, they're just Dragon Ball, forget Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, they both go up and they, like, double punch Piccolo, and they all, Bow! like that, and, and they, like, they say the same thing at the end, and he goes fly. this is like a cartoon, man, it's like, a, like a really good cartoon, but it's, it's like a cartoon, what are you doing here, I'm like, you guys a team, I don't know, I guess I'm a team, yo, I'm making the same face at night, are we a team now, is that what we are? There's a part where he re where he goes to the car to grab the rope, and he says something really weird. This like this this is the first thing that just I was like you know like I'm trying to get suspension disbelief. I'm trying to really like the comic book, and all of a sudden he opens up the the hood you know the the the, the trunk of the car, and he's like, hmm. Well, an AR-15 hasn't magically appeared in the back of my trunk. Nah, really? Like, we're, we're just going to let that one slide? Like, psh, I say that all the time. <laughs> like, dude, I don't know. Maybe maybe if the Scarecrow showed up and there was there was um, an ice cream truck or whatever that was, a food truck where there's some, some fear toxin coming out the bottom of it, and I'm just going to flip over and go try to punch it. But I'm going to, like, you know, hmm, sure to wish I had an AR-15 right now. tired sick medicine you know my cold flu i just read this comic book and i'm like why i want to just stop reading the comic book i want it to stop and i'm just like yeah nah can't do it can't do it i don't know who's going to be on the next issue but at this point like this is part seven man it's part seven we're still doing this we haven't noticed that the fans aren't fans anymore and we're still gonna be doing this maybe they're gonna get a different writer and all that stuff I, I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't even care at this point <laughs> I just I, I, I can't see myself torturing myself anymore like I'm not masochistic you know what I'm saying I'm not one of those channels that likes to read the comic books that I don't like just so I can make fun of them and shred them or something because it's entertaining nah that's just not me yeah I'm just not feeling this right now I'm not <clears throat> anyway so um hopefully it won't be part eight in the next issue we'll have like a new team on this and we could just they're going to continue with the story. Continue with the story. It's cool. It's still Scott Lobdell's, you know, baby. He's still doing the plot. Maybe he got this, you know, the sickness too, and he's just, you know, whatever. But I'm not feeling this anymore. Um, no. The current team, I'm done. That's all there is to it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I'm really sick. So, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.